Yes. Oh, this is the way. If you ever see me walking in the street, I I go out like maybe. Well, I go every. Well, I go when it's sunny out, like it's sunny out now. I go out and I sit, you know, in some sunshine. We don't see me there. But then when I have to walk across town to where I am right now, wait a second, to where I am right now, then this is the way I usually look. You know what I mean? You know, I usually have my headphones on. I'm listening to some sort of podcast or whatever it is. You know, some sort of information. You know, whatever I like. I like information more than I like music. These days, no way. I got I got music too. So that's I got that seat. But see this thing. I don't know what they call it here. When I bought a board too, and there's a black one. I got a, a like a gold looking one. I don't know if they have a couple. Maybe I bought it with me. I have to look and see if I bought the good looking one here. I think I left it in Africa. But this is my this is my you know my thingy. See, it's like a. Oh, can I explain it to you? See, it's like a it's a it's a it's a scarf. It's a scarfy thing. It's like a scarf that's. You know, done all the way around, so you could put a bunch of waves. But the reason why I like to do that because I like to cover the ears. In fact, in fact, I think they just finished saying. This is what I should do. I got this less, the last of my certified organic pomegranate, a little bit there, and there's a lot more of my concentrated cranberry. I'm gonna put them together. Uh, what, what was I talking about? Oh. So I was talking about the thing. So what they found out that, you know, what the people are telling you, see, I always say, look, if the virus can go in your nose, remember, I used to be a little medical field, but if it's going in your nose, then you need to cover your ears too. Because <laughs> stuff will go in your ears, you know what I mean? If it go in your nose, go in your ears. But, but now they're saying go through your eyes. So I always wear glasses out anyway, only because of this, the sun trying to get the, ah, oh, it's a long story, but the UV rays and the, and the, and the, and the floaties and the floaters, you know, you Come to think of it, I think some of the biggest problem that we have these days. Oh no, it's not the biggest problem, but the thing, the thing we have to address, and because everybody wants the, the the powers that be, their answer is just to depopulate. You know, the cold, the cold, the, the herd. You know, the, so they do everything. They put, you know, whatever they do, put poison in the water. You know, um, when you have a when you have a a, a a pandemic like this, then bail your bail yourselves out and make sure you make it bad so a bunch of other people, will, you know, on the bottom will die. Whatever, whatever, what, however they say their stuff. You know. So, so anyway, so I've always covered up, you know, it's just, it's just covered up when I do it now, you know what I mean? But it's still a psychological ploy. I mean, you know, if you got it, you got it. If you, if you, you know by now, according to what you eat and you're drinking like this, and I got my concentrate here. But this thing, let me see, gonna put a little bit in there. This will be enough for another one, another time. So I'll leave that there. And then I use the commercial grape drink juice, whatever they call it. They call it juice. I don't know. When you put water, a lot of water and sugar in something, it's no, no longer is juice, it's drink. <laughs> you know, if you want to do the difference between drink and juice, that's the difference, you know. Juice is what it is with nothing added. And drink is when they add a lot of water and a lot of sugar. Okay? What's sweet enough? Ooh, that's bitter too. Ah, that tart. Mm, tart, like that. Okay, but here's what I want to say. Look, um, at this long time ago, when this whole political thing started, whatever a year ago, whatever, whenever it started, they had the, they had the, all those candidates up. I said, you know, because of the, see, it's like it's like you know, it's like the pre um, uh, primary time, uh, primary caucus time. Then there's a the caucus time. Then there's your then 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 you get to your boy well, caucus time, and then you get your you well, yeah, the, the elect the um, convention and then you get to the election there's like three separate things to vote so the first part when you're sorting out who's going to be you usually go for you look at people that that, that that have your issues in mind you know you trust that the party if you're going to say let's say the democratic party democrat party okay let's say that's your party for whatever reason you know what i mean so you want in that in that party or those you want to push the person that 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 you know that's in your you that's on your side. Just put it that way. Now, as the, as it goes on, if your person falls out, then you can oh switch to some other person. It just goes like that. To finally get to the convention, you know, then you get your the person in whoever this, whoever's left standing. Then 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 you go in your party. You go for the you go for the against the other party or parties. We supposed to have parties, but we don't have another party. 
which is just, we're gonna get to that point. So and then, and then then you come out with a with a winner, you know, with a leader of the whoever. Okay, so that's that's the, what's supposed to happen, right? But, but what actually happened is people from the beginning and said, "This is my guy, no matter what." And uh, I'm, this is my guy. I just want my guy. My, my he looks like somebody I want. They don't listen to what the person say about the issues. So I look at the issues. So when it first started, I was very intrigued as far as the issues go. This is before Marianne Williams. She said it pretty early about uh, ADOS. But my two issues, even when Marianne Williams was in there, you know, I was I was going for uh, Tulsi Gabbard for anti-war. I'm just totally against war. For me, if you ADOS ADOS our ADOS reality reality we can change. We can make so you there's be no more war because we can take the we can take the money out of the the, the war money out of the system that that we're under right now because they got to pay us whatever. <laughs> anyway, war. And um, a war for Tulsa. Tulsa Gabbard was war, and I felt that she could stand up to the generals. Um, and then she did go against, you know, the whole Venice, the, the, the wars, you know, the, you know, but this was Tulsa. Then I was very intrigued, and then I listened again. I listened to people, watched, look at their websites. I said, Andrew Yang, he's good for domestic stuff. His foreign policy was like, <laughs> and you know, I mean, and of course, you know, the, we, nobody does AD West except for Marion Williams, so we won't get into that right now. So then I so so my my ideal thing was gonna would be like a Tulsi Gabbard for president, uh, Andrew Yang for vice president. That's the ideal thing. Now as things go along, people hang in. Then I then, then you, know, you keep more switch. So so you might say, oh, I really want uh, Andrew Yang to be something in also education or business, something like that. And, and I really want um, and I really want uh, 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 Tulsi to be uh, vice president because then she can still deal with the military like that. You know. Then of course things happen the way they happen. And now you have what you have. <laughs> so now I have to switch up, right? Let me say that if Bernie would have come come in, I still would have been pushing for ADOS or something like that. Well, it doesn't matter. Push for ADOS no matter what. I'm talking about what the reality of what, what you have to choose from. So now, so now I have to make up my mind because I have to see how the Democratic, the Democrat, not have to see how that goes because they, they got the old, old, what, they get the white, the same people. I'm, I only deal with the Republicans and the Democrat people. So now, now I'm saying, okay, what am I going to do? Oh, so obviously I'm going to write ADOS in no matter what. I'll write, I'm going to write ADOS in top of the ticket. If there's something in the, in the, in the, in the weeds in the pick, like say for instance, there's four judges, right? And I'm saying like, mm, I want this one judge. So I can, so if I put my vote on this one judge, be sort of weighted toward that one judge, right? But then for the other judges, I can just write in, or if I have two choice of two or whatever it is, just write in ADOS. You know, there's some other th thing that I'm not concerned with. Say, say the um, congressman is his runs unopposed. He's going to no. I write in ADOS. So I'm going to write ADOS on that ballot someplace so they can get counted. See, it's sort of like a strategy because you know this. Is the, and you see all this ADOS. They got to tally it somehow. They got to be tallied. So now you can see how many. And be, the wonderful thing if you do this ADOS. Is right. I think um, Yvette uh, on Breaking Brown tonight. This is I'm recording this on a Thursday. So tonight. She's going to, I think she's going to have a whole thing, call in, just can call on any topic. Maybe I'll call in and suggest this. We'll see what happens. I'll leave that alone. So, so, so what happens is, you know, ADOS now has a presence on any ballot. And, and, write, and you, you can even tell your allies, look, allies, same thing, you know, write in ADOS, blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to tell you what will change, right? If Jesse Ventura, right, if he goes and runs for president of the Green Party, whatever he wants, third party, whatever he wants to do, then I'll just write it in like I like I do before. You know, I just write in, who, I mean, I'll write it, well, I'll vote for Jesse Ventura. And I try to push him for uh, for him for reparations. But now here's, here's the thing. Suppose somehow Donald Trump says, I'm for reparations. In fact, here, let me put, and, and actually does something right before the election. Woo, then I'll be in a serious problems because he said something from AD what, about reparations. I don't know. What am I going to What? How am I going to? We'll wait to see if that, if, that, if that happens. Oh, don't hold my breath because I don't want to die. Okay. So, 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 so currently, that that's my strategy. You know what I mean? I'm I'm, I'm thoroughly committed to writing ADOS, vote, vote, because you got to turn up, vote and write ADOS. And if Jesse Ventura runs, I'll write it for president, maybe. Let's see what happens if I can push him for, for reparations, right? This is so, this is so, so very wonderful. Oh, by the way, I want, I should end it there. So make it for ADOS thing. Yeah, I guess I got to do it there. 
look, the world, no, I keep on going. The, the, world, the world is changing because as you may or may not know, I have uh, ties in Africa. In fact, as the world, as this food supply breaks down, like I figured about two months, you know, you have your food supply really hurting, right? Please let me get back to Africa. Please let me get, because in my area, we grow food. <laughs> we have our own animals. That's why, you know, well, I'm eating that. I, I just said, yeah, that's the goat. <laughs> <laughs> or that's the, that's the cow, you know what I mean? Or that's the chicken. We have we go chickens, you know, and that's the eggs for the chicken. So I know where and I can eat. So we have all kinds of vegetables, and I'm involved with the with the village. So we have a bunch of villages that's, that's that they grow food, and they, and now they, most people offer alcohol now because they said the, it's an amazing thing. It, it's it's really amazing. But 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 you know the president because like all these presidents. What I don't like about these policies, they keep on talking. And they're saying stuff like, yeah, but I heard that over there. Give me another solution. You know, uh, tell me how to boost my immune system again. You know, I don't want to hear this talking. That you're going to put this law in and you can't do that and do that. I get a lot of uh, don't or, or quarantine or lockdown. I don't get no things, no other ways of thinking. So I don't know what that's about. I being me, T from the bad is the thing that trains you to bed. Letting you know what I only suspect from a reality of the A-D-O-S. That would be the uh, American, North American, descendants of chattel slavery.